I'm here in Perth at this beautiful boutique brewery. It's got a unique thing about it. They serve salads with their lunches and they're produced over here in the greenhouse. Come and have a look. Here we are, look, we've got these beautiful koi fish in this tank and aren't they just so pretty? And they're a great fish to use. We often strike in um, aquaponics that are vegetarians who have got no intention of ever eating the fish that they grow uh, tend to go towards koi and it's a really good option because they're fairly hardy, they will withstand cold water temperatures okay, not real cold, so down to minus, down to plus five, sorry, uh, and they'll also uh, happily exist in water up to 30 degrees C. So it's a very good option, you can see some really beautiful koi fish here, you can see them feeding, they're just absolutely great. Koi fish can actually make you some money, if you get the colours right, I don't understand what those colours are, but I'm told that if the colours are right, you can get a lot of money for a good koi fish. An individual can sell for hundreds and hundreds of dollars, even more, I understand. So it's a good option if you never intend to eat the fish to raise koi fish in your aquaponic system. And here's a great example of a tank full of beautiful, beautiful koi fish. Just take notice, these are beautiful, beautiful fiberglass tanks. As you know, I love fiberglass. And I love it so much because it's permanent, it's durable, Okay, it's a little bit expensive to start with, but in the long run, it's uh, the best material to use if you can afford it. And of course, in our course, week nine, we've got how to make fiberglass tanks, etc. So you can look forward to that in the course. But here we have the, uh, the beautiful tank to start with. Looks like to me it's about 5,000 litres. I'm only guessing that one, but it'll be very close to that. Beautiful, solid fiberglass. And then the water comes across here into the swirl filter. And you can see the outlet, this is the outlet for the swirl filter, right here, where the water goes on down and travels through to the next collection point, which obviously then winds up going to the greenhouse. The finished water goes across to the greenhouse to grow the plants. And I can see in the distance a, a submerged sump, which is where the water's being drawn back and brought into the fish tanks. How good is that? So come and have a look at the plumbing we've got here, and you'll see what a beautiful, neat job that this one has been built, really lovely plumbing work. I want to point out to you the beautiful job that this person has done, this owner has done building this system. Look at the lovely, neat plumbing work. You know, the main pipes are coming along here. We've got water. You know, we can turn the water on and off. We've got uh, ability to turn the waste from the from this well filter to go into the mineralization tank. This is a mineralization tank for this fish tank. We've got a mineralization tank here for this tank that comes from this swirl filter. Very, very neat work. It's really, really nice. All the beautiful valves seen. This is our air supply for the mineralization tank. You'll be able to see in here, you'll be able to see the, the, the water bubbling away with the aeration going in, processing the fish waste and turning it into more plant-ready nutrients. That's what a mineralization does. It breaks down the uh, fish solids and turns them into a more usable form so the plants can take up the nutrient. Look at that lovely, neat job. Isn't it, isn't it great? 